What up? It's iFly. In today's video, I want to talk about my new script. It's called Max Object Animation Player. There's going to be three versions. There's going to be a free version that I'm going to put up on the forum for free. And then there's going to be a basic and a pro version that I'm going to put up on the Game Creator Store for a couple bucks. So uh, hopefully you guys like it. Uh, first things first, here's a demonstration. Uh, as you can see, you can start the animation and you can stop the animation and lots more. So let's go ahead and check out what else it can do. You can see right over here, you've got all the different features. It's got quite a bit of stuff going on. Um, first thing is first, I'll start at the top and go toward the bottom and just try and explain everything the best I can. Play at start is going to play the animation at start. Use press E is going to allow you to use an E press on the object to activate it. Uh, e logic con is going to allow you to, if you're using use press E, then when you press E on it, it will use a logical connection to whatever you have connected to it and work just as if it was a switch. Uh, logic con once allows you to only activate it once or the logical connection once. Loop animation is just as it says on the tin, it will loop the animation. Loop sound will use a loop 3D sound to play the uh, sound, um, but if it's not checked, then it just plays a regular sound. Uh, activate once will only allow you to activate the uh, animation or stop the animation once. Allow stop anim is going to allow you to stop the animation in whatever method you activated it, whether you used a switch to activate it or press E to activate it. Uh, allow continue will allow you to continue it when you click E or use a switch or whatever to activate it. Stop sound after will stop the sound after the animation. Uh, animation start frame will be obviously your start frame of your animation. Animation end frame will be your last frame of your animation. Um, if your animation isn't the first animation in the object, like let's say it's the second, um, then you can type in whatever its number will be. Let's go ahead and just go with like 400. And then when you start it, the object will be on that frame. And it'll play from that frame. So let's like put in 300, see what it's at there. Yeah, see? And then if I... See what I'm saying? Press E play prompt is going to be your prompt when you go to press E on it and you know you'll see whatever you type in here. Same thing with stop. Press E distance will be how far away from the object you can be and still press E on it. Animation speed will of course be your animation speed. Randomize speed will give you the ability to choose from two modes, speed up or speed down, or slow down, sorry. <laughs> and then you get to choose your random speed frequency, which is on average, how often will it uh, trigger the random speed. Uh, random speed duration is how many milliseconds do you want the random speed to be active before going back to the normal speed. The random speed max is for when you're using speed up and that is a uh, creates a range between your uh, animation speed, whatever you have that set to, and whatever you set the uh, maximum speed to. If you ever go below your set animation speed, it will just be whatever your animation speed is and you won't see a change. Um, but it goes between that number and like, let's say, let's just go with 500% speed or uh, five times the speed, I should say, it's 500 um, times 500 speed or whatever. Um, so it'll choose between 100 and 500, somewhere between there, and it'll jump to that speed when it activates the random speed. Um, 
so it's going to be a random speed into that range. Um, same thing with min speed, drop it to whatever you want and it'll be whatever it is between that number and that number randomly. Um, so yeah, um, let's go ahead and check that out with him. It's going to look pretty funny probably. Yeah, you can see he's kind of jumping around. But you can choose to, let's say, up the duration. So at 225 milliseconds, he'll be at 500 times speed. Or five times, however it works. So yeah, you can just fiddle with that and uh, dial yourself in a good uh, mix. It's, it would be good for stuff like flags because then you can, oops, random, in fact, I'm gonna turn the random speed off on him. Go back to the flag and let's, uh, let's look at the flag without random speed on first. Okay. And if I add random speed, let's say turn that up a little bit. Let's turn that up a little bit. Let's go to 200%. So it might be kind of hard to see, but you can basically mimic like wind flickering or fluttering the, uh, the, uh, flag randomly instead of it just being one constant speed but you know whatever you can find uses for it and then where are we sound range is going to be how far away the 3d sound can be heard uh, max volume will be the maximum volume that you'll hear the 3d sound and min volume will be the minimum volume you'll hear it and then here's your sound so yeah that's about everything to do with all of that. Hopefully I didn't ramble on too much and it made sense. Um, let's check out the free and the basic version real quick. The uh, basic version has play at start and it has loop animation and you have to put in your start and your end frame and you can choose a sound. The free version allows you to play a start the loop animation you need to put your start and end frames in but no sound however there is ways to play a sound uh, along with it just not using this behavior so let's check those out as you can see they both do the exact same thing the only difference is the uh, basic has a sound although i'm not playing one right now so, yeah, hopefully uh, you guys like that, and I will see you in the next one.